Hello, Rimandas Petrauskas, creator of the local trade copper. In this video, I will try to, ex to explain you kind of, you know, the concept behind the local trade copper and the trade copper in general, because MetaTrader account, you know, it doesn't allow you to trade multiple MetaTrader instances at once. So this is the reason why I created the trade copper. So basically it works like this, you know, you just have uh, uh, several MetaTrader accounts on the same computer and you link those accounts using the trade copper and now when you initiate trades kind of execute the trades on one MetaTrader account the same trade gets replicated kind of copied to many other MetaTrader instances many other uh, you know MetaTrader accounts so this is how you can trade a lot of MetaTrader accounts at the same time. So <laughs> the job that people were doing before, you know, manually kind of uh, hiring teams of traders that would sit in front of many computers with the MetaTrader uh, platform open. And then once the, you know, chief trader says that, okay, everybody go long on euro dollar, everyone's just clicking buy button, you know. <laughs> so it's just crazy. And those were the old days. You don't need to do that anymore. You just set up your trade copper, link your MetaTrader accounts, and you just initiate trade once on one MetaTrader account and it gets copied on all MetaTrader instances that you want. So let me try to explain how this will, uh, you know, will look like. Kind of, I will give you, I will draw you the scheme how this will work. So imagine you have a computer or it could be a VPS server, kind of, you know, virtual private server, uh, you know, uh, basically people to make it simple call them kind of computer on the internet you know uh, if so to speak so it, you know the vps is running for you 24 hours a day so it's very convenient to use such software on you know such um such servers i personally have i don't know dozens of those vps servers with with you know a lot of meta traders running and so on so let's say you have a computer and you get your MetaTrader account. So you install uh, local trade copper, what's you know the called so server EA. It's the it's the first um, component you know of the software uh, that needs to be installed on all the MetaTrader accounts you want to act as a master. So for now we have one MetaTrader account and we want it to act as a master account. So it's just a regular MetaTrader account, nothing more, you know. Uh, the regular MetaTrader that everyone's get from their brokers, you know, and there are hundreds of brokers that offer MetaTrader. So you just install Server EA, and then on the same computer, you install other MetaTrader accounts with the second component that is called Client EA. So basically, local trade copper consists of those two components. The first component is, is the Server EA you know, which should be installed on the master side, kind of on the on the account that will be acting as a master. Basically, it's, it's the account where you initiate trade. So this is the account where you will be trading. You know, you could be trading manually or you could be running some uh, some expert advisor, you know, kind of trading robot. Uh, or you could be receiving trading signals from someone you know, maybe from MCOL market or, or, or some other, other place, you know, I think Zulu trade even works the same way too. So basically, you know, you could be, uh, maybe you have your account manager that's managing your, your trades in your account and, you know, you don't have access to that, uh, trading strategy he's using, but you see those trades appear in your account. So you can just log into your, your own account. No one's going to know about that. You know, you're just running, uh, another instance on your computer of your own MetaTrade account. So those trades that anyone's executing for you somewhere remotely kind of belong to you. So, you know, you could, you could do whatever you want with them. So you just install server EA in there. And now the server EA will be sending all the trading actions, you know, it will see in the account, it will be sending to clients. So client EA is the second component of the local trade copper and you will run it on each MetaTrade account that you want to have, you know, kind of act as a client to receive the trades. So the client EA will be receiving those trades and repeat them on the 
on the MetroShare account. So we have one client, two client, three client, four client, five client, basically unlimited clients. It's, you know, the limit comes from your computer, how many MetroTrader platforms it can run. So, for example, if we take a VPS server that's cost around $20 a month, um, you would, you know, we, you would be able to run around four to five MetaTrader instances. So let's say if one MetaTrader acts as a master, you can have up to around four MetaTrader client accounts, uh, you know, on that one VPS server. And once you need to run some more, you just get another VPS server and, uh, and run another five MetaTraders, you know. So it's, it's quite flexible. Um, and, uh, you know, and if you have a computer at home, those personal computers these days, you know, with all those eight multi-core servers and so on, you know, the, those powerful CPU, you know, processors and, and a lot of, you know, huge amounts of RAM. So you could be maybe running, you know, 10, 20, maybe 30 MetaTrader platforms on one computer. So you could be copying trades to, you know, dozens of MetaTrader accounts at once on the same computer. Now, uh, Basically, once you, you know, when you link, it will look like this. So each of those, uh, MetaTrader client accounts will, will be receiving trades from the first master account. So obviously you can set up this any way you want. You know, you could, you know, not necessarily all MetaTrader accounts running on the same computer can, uh, you know, you, you know, must be copying the trades. You could have some spare MetaTrader accounts for other, other purposes or whatever you want to do. You know, but in this demonstration, I just link all the MetaTrader accounts. Now, uh, let's try to make the setup even more advanced. So this is, this is just a basic setup. Just copying one MetaTrader, you know, master account to, uh, you know, six, seven, ten or, or whatever, you know, client accounts. Now let's get another MetaTrader account, which will act as a master as well. So, I got another server EA installed on this master account. So the only thing I would kind of need to change is the group for that, uh, for that server EA, kind of create another group of trades, kind of another group of meta traders. Um, so then I link this master account number two to copy trades just to the meta trader client account number five, as an example. So now you have, you know, master account cop number one copying trades to all the MetaTrader uh, accounts, client accounts I have, but the master number two copy trades only to number five client account. So obviously I can set up this any way I want, but just for demonstration, I'm copying this to client account number five. Okay, so let's go to the next level. You know, this could be... Uh, get, you know, this could get even further, even more advanced. So let's say I get the third MetaTrader account. And this one first will act as a client account, which will receive trades from masters one and two, you know, from the first and the second master accounts. Um, and then it will act as a server account. Additionally, you know, the same MetaTrader account can act as a client and the server at the same time. So it receives trades from first and the second MetaTrader accounts. Uh, and now, you know, this, this MetaTrader will have trades from both accounts. And then I, you know, using the server EA, uh, I just set up this to, you know, kind of create the group, the third group of trade, trades, you know, of copies. And then I copied these to other two MetaTrader client accounts, you know. I numbered them six and seven in this demonstration. So obviously I could be copying those trades to whatever I want, you know, but for this demonstration, I just copied them to these two. Now it doesn't end there, you know, so we have a computer or a VPS with a lot of MetaTrader accounts copying those, you know, it's, it's, became quite a complicated setup, you know, so I hope you guys not get confused by that, but uh, I try to, to, you know, draw this as simple as possible. And then let's say um, you have the setup, uh, you know, on your VPS or at home and trades are copied. So you have trading robots running in there or whatever, you know, you have, 
And then let's say you want to take a look if something, you know, if all is all, all goes well, maybe you want to change some stop loss or maybe you want to close some trades that you, you know, maybe early or maybe additionally you, you're trading manually on one of those masters. No. So whatever reason you have, it's, it, you know, it's, it's your business. So, uh, but you know, at that, at that time you stand in line for grocery, groceries, you know, or, or, or whatever activities you have during your day. You could just pull out your iPhone or Android smartphone, uh, open your MetaTrader mobile app. MetaTrader has a mobile version of their app, so you can install it on any iPhone and Android. Android. So you just pull up, pull that out, and you can log into any of those master or client accounts, and you know maybe close some trades early if you think you need that, or 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 maybe you just want to see how the things are going, you know. Or maybe you can additionally execute some trades in one of those master accounts or, you know, whatever you need to do. So let's say you execute the trade on the first master. So once you do that on your mobile, even being in another country, you know, or, or, or totally on the, uh, you know, another side of, uh, of the world and you execute a trade. Now MetaTrader running on your computer, uh, with, you know, will pick up the trade immediately. And server EA will see that in the, you know, it will detect the new trade, even though, you know, even if it, if it was open from the mobile app and it will copy the trade to all of those clients account that it, it's linked to. You know, it, it's just simple, simple as that. Now let's say you get a laptop, you know, maybe you travel, you're on the road, you know, or, or maybe you're in your office working on your laptop. So you could open your MetaTrader platform anytime just log into one of those metatrader accounts and you know maybe monitor how it's going on you know just check up how it's working and so on so basically there are so many ways uh, to log in and see and observe and make some changes and execute trades and whatever you 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 can see it's quite powerful yeah so a lot of people doesn't understand this simple concept that you can execute trades remotely from any other device on the same master account that you have running on another computer with the trade copper set up and all this will be copied to your you know um to your client's account so um it's important that you have meta traders running all the time so that's why i recommend you to get a vpn server and once you get that you can see that Basically, there are no limits how you can set this up. So, hope you guys enjoy uh, local trade copper presentation. You know, an explanation of of how it works. And uh, you know, please like like this video, share share it with your friends. You know, with those who you might um, it help will it help to. And you know, please share it. Please post your comments and visit my website for more videos you know i have much more than that you know that explains how how we can install the software and so on so i'll see you in the other ones in, in, in other videos bye